My dear viewers, what have you found in the last weeks? That's what I would like to show you today, at least for my collection. I am Busy Bee from Germany. I'm a longtime Barbie collector and a Barbie dog for almost 10 years. This channel is more than your one-stop Barbie repair workshop. Let's start. I have not found very much for my collection, but I'm not collecting for the quantity anymore. I just collect what I like and if it's only a few pieces, it's only a few pieces. Some of you asked me to show a little bit of my collection and here is at least the latest part of it. You have probably seen my little frenzy here. Frenzy came in I think by the end of February to me and she was part of our big frenzy repair project. She also got her high teen outfit in the last days. I must say it's very nice. I'm not sure if I put her skirt on correctly. Let me know in a comment below if it's not the right position for it. I have to repair it a little bit, but I think it's a very nice outfit from the late 60s and I hope we have a lot of fun together. By the way, she will be the star of one of my next videos because I finally found a new arm for her because her arm was damaged. Let me show you this. The arm was already damaged when she came to me and I wanted to change the arm but I had no replacement arm and now I have found one. So this will be a... this frenzy project will continue a little bit in the next weeks. <laughs> I hope you enjoy her as much as I do. This is a number one Ken with all his flocking. No flocking came off. I think he's my fourth number one Ken. I have four of them now. I, I saw an offer and I bought him because, you know, I like the first dolls that came out from Mattel and he is a very early doll. Even if he's not a Barbie, I think he's great. And he's in a good condition, so I bought him and I really enjoy him. By the way, his pair of pants also needs some repair and this will be also a future repair project here on my channel. Then I found this Ken. He is not a number one Ken. I think he is from 1964. I think he is, he's the last one before the Kens became bendable. Kens, when I have looked it up correctly, let me comment in the comments below if not, because <laughs> I don't have so many vintage Kens that I can differentiate them by seeing them. I just have to look it up every time I get one of these new cans. <laughs> but I think it's okay and he's wearing a early metal outfit. I think it's his pyjamas. Also from the early 60s. Just want him to dress him properly so that I can present him here on my channel for this new video. <laughs>
He is one of the few black dolls I have. He is from the early 70s. He is a Curtis. He is a free moving Curtis. He has a function that I would like to show you in a minute. So he can move his waist around freely. And this was one of the first Afro-American dolls ever produced by Mattel. Here is the function. You see, you can pull this down and then you have a very flexible and movable upper body for Curtis. Anyway, he's called Curtis and he's from the early 70s and I hope you enjoy my finds as much as I do. I know it's not very much here, but like I already mentioned, I don't collect for the quantity anymore. I just collect what I find, what I like, what fits into my collection and that's what we have here as the new dots from January to April. I hope you like my little video, you share, like and subscribe. Question of the day is, do you have him in your collection too? Let me know. Do you like this outfit? I put a live action outfit on because I think it's a good contrast song to his skin tone. Let me know in the comments if you like it or not. <laughs> I hope you like my little video, you share, like and subscribe. See you in the next weeks. You're Busy Bee from Germany. Bye! <laughs>